Flint, Michigan's water crisis is now well known across the U.S. and the world through headlines. While the drinking water now meets federal safety standards, there are still thousands of Flint families living in homes with lead pipes. But how many are there exactly, and where are they? With over $100 million of state and federal funding, the city is making progress towards removing all of its lead service lines, which are the pipes connecting each home to the water system. The city has now replaced service lines for over 7,000 homes. Still, many homes do have safe copper pipes although Flint had no accurate records of which homes are which, and the pipes are buried deep underground. Our team of two faculty and three students at the University of Michigan has been working with the city of Flint since the spring of 2016 to help address these uncertainties. In this paper, we propose a procedure for the remediation of Flint's lead service line problem. This combines a statistical machine learning model predicting the location of lead pipes and an active learning algorithm to recommend which homes to inspect next. As of February 2016, the only pipe material data available to the city were a stack of 120,000 work record slips, most from the early 1900s, and a collection of hand annotated maps last updated in the 1980s. Replacing a service line can be very costly, as several contractors are needed to break concrete in the street, dig two holes, and install new copper lines. The cost is upwards of $5,000 per home. As the city began digging and found repeated discrepancies between the actual pipes and the records, officials realized the importance of accurately estimating what was underground. The city also began using a lower cost method of collecting new data known as a hydrovac inspection. A hydrovac truck operator can dig a deep, narrow hole precisely and quickly and visually inspect what is down below, but it doesn't replace the pipes. Our team built a data collection system to facilitate the record keeping for the pipe replacements and inspections. Early on, there were few data points clustered in a few neighborhoods. So we assembled data sets putting together other information from the city and state about all Flint homes. Then as data accumulated in 2016 and 17, we updated predictions and provided those to city officials. These have been true out of sample predictions for homes that have not yet been inspected. We estimate on average three out of four homes had lead or galvanized service lines. Now with hindsight, we can confirm how those predictions have improved over time and how accurate they've become but the risk still varies greatly house to house. 12% chance of lead, so I'd have to bet on copper. Copper. That's copper. Yeah. What was it? Copper. Copper, it was really copper. was copper. Yeah, it was copper. But prediction is not enough. The problem calls for a decision. Which homes should be inspected next? Our work is ongoing as we continue to support Flint's replacement effort through 2018 and 19. The paper shows that such an approach could offer the potential for $10 million in cost savings, enough to replace an additional 2,000 homes lead pipes. We hope that our techniques will also be considered by other cities, saving taxpayers and customers money and making residents safer sooner.